بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد ايها الاحبه في الله continue on our study of the treaties of Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al-Wadi'i Allah yirhamahu hadhi da'watana wa aqidatana this is our creed and this is our da'wah this is our creed and this is our uh, call uh, the Imam said after mentioning the importance of uh, giving precedence to those matters in the religion like aqidah creed first and foremost he said thumma bil qada ala al-shu'iya والحزب البحث وذلك لا يكون إلا بالاتحاد العقدي على تمسك بالكتاب والسنة نرى أن الجماعة التي تضم 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 الرافضي وشيعي وصوفي وصني غير قادر غير قادرة على موجه الأعداء the Imam said رحمة الله عليه he said then also that part of the creed of Ahlul Sunnah is that we believe in, uh, you know, that we deny and disbelieve in Hizb al Bath, like what you have in Bashar al Assad uh, and uh, Bashar al Assad and those other uh, groups of. Mulhadeen, those people who reject Islam, who are basically like not atheists but agnostics or whatever you want to call them, that they are uh, not from Islam. And all the other communist uh, groups and parties. And that can only be done by correcting the Aqidah and unifying the correct Aqidah, the correct uh, Aqidah based upon adhering to the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he also said and that we hold that the groups for example the Rafidah meaning the Rafidah Shia and he said the Rafidi was Shi'i uh, so he distinguished between the two so maybe he's referring here to those Shia that are not like the Rafidah that are some groups that are in the fold of Islam but they have Bid'ah like the uh, Zaydiyah Shia and so forth so he makes a distinguish but he says we do not uh, and we see that those groups like the Rafidah, the Shi'i the uh, Sufi and the Sunni uh, all, the, these groups put all together they are not uh, they do not have the strength to face their enemies and he said that is because they do not have the uh, those things can only transpire meaning they only have that ability if they have the brother true brotherhood and the unified correct Aqidah meaning the the Aqidah of the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam based upon Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah so to make this uh, a bit more clear is that without the Minhaj of the Salaf without the creed, the correct aqidah and call to tawheed, all these various groups are not in a position. Islam will be weak. The Muslims will be weak as a uh, as a body or as a community until they they will remain weak until they uh, correct themselves and come back to Kitab wa Sunnah uh, with the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah. And some of the case studies that we can look at uh, that Imam Mukbil he was alive for uh, was the case in Afghanistan when Imam Mukbil uh, and many of the ulama at that time they said in the th first Afghan war which was, took place I think in 19 uh, it was in the late 80s I believe and at this time uh, when Russia had invaded Afghanistan and the Mujahideen from all over the world had gathered together to fight them and of course with the help of America and this was the building or the if you want to say creation of Osama bin, bin Laden and all the other history that lies within it the point being is that after 
uh, those groups fought the Russians and were able to repel the Russians with the help, of course, of uh, America and, and the, the supplying of Amer weapons from America and so forth, who use it as a proxy war or what have you, they, those uh, groups began to fight one another. Why? Because you had Sufis, you had Takfiris, you had Hizb Tahrir, you have every kind of sect and group from the modern day uh, Hizbeen fighting and, and killing one another. They actually killed Salafis. There were many great Salafi Mujahideen like uh, Sheikh uh, Jamil Rahman, Rahmatullah who was well known, who Sheikh Mukbil wrote a treatise about because he was in communication with uh, uh, Sheikh Mukbil and probably other ulama from Ahlul Sunnah. And so the point being a habitifillah is by being divided, we have no strength, we have weakness. And when we see what's going on today with those groups like ISIS and Boko Haram and other extremist groups like Al Shabab, that we see that there's no way that we could ever Islamically come together with people like that. Our goals aren't the same. They claim they want the Sharia, they claim they want this and that, but they only show the world brutality by slaughtering, cutting the necks of anyone from, they could be a reporter, they could be someone who has taken their shahada, they could be someone from amongst the Muslims, anyone who opposes them in ideology. I won't even say that fights them, but they threaten all the governments. They threaten to come to Saudi, they threaten this, they threaten that. And what we learn from this and these cafe take these cafe takeovers in Australia and other people who go around shooting these lone ter lone wolf terrorists we learn that they're on battle we learn that they distort the religion of Islam and we are free from them and in fact those people would gladly take up arms and take our lives and we would gladly defend ourselves and defend ourselves. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with alman nafi, ruskin tayyib, wa amalim mutakabbilin, wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.